So I went to the most magical hidden place in the Tokyo countryside with someone I met over this platform. It still feels so surreal that I'm slowly building a community of like-minded people here. And that behind each number, there's an actual person watching my videos. Which I feel so incredibly blessed for. To be honest, I've been feeling a little stuck in the city lately. So when Kara suggested this beautiful place in the mountain, only an hour from the city, my heart felt at awe and I was more than excited for this adventure. After we arrived at the station, we took a taxi up the mountain to check out this lovely museum we saw online. It's really beautiful, really quiet. Yeah, look. Let's go. And he leaves us alone. Oh, oh. It looks a little bit like a little Santa Claus. I didn't expect that it would turn out to be the most beautiful museum and cafe I've ever been to. It felt like I entered a dream, a fairy tale and a Ghibli movie at the same time. We were taken away from this world into a magical place. Each and every detail, outside and inside this little house in the middle of the mountains, invited us into its own universe. This is literally a fairy tale. I don't go to museums that much, but this is insane. It's actually magical. Each statue was so incredibly detailed and told its own story. I think it's always so fascinating to look at someone's art because it feels like I get such a close and intimate look into their world. Isn't it magical how the light comes inside here on that painting? Seeing all these creatures inspired me to create my own fairy tale. I want to be more like I was as a child, having such a bright imagination with all these fantastic stories and souls. Our society makes it quite hard to remember to fantasize and create our own little dream worlds, even within our daily life which I find so important because it can be a safe space and also a way to make life less serious and more magical, which I love. Outside we were greeted by an old man who turned out to be Tomonaga Kimitsu, the artist and creator of this beautiful place. He made puppets for many anime series and TV commercials since 1975. Tomonaga's wish was to create a museum and artworks using only materials that would return to nature after degrading. So everything in this museum is created out of wood, paper and stone. To be honest, I could have continued staying here forever, looking at each piece and making up a world around it. It's so fascinating that someone imagined all these characters and brought them to life. I 
also have much more footage that I just couldn't fit in here, but I hope you can get a glimpse of how magical this place was. We still wanted to hike on this day, so we had to leave the museum eventually and go to the little cafe, where we met a really kind lady who served us tea in the most wonderful and magical cafe I've ever seen. With koi swimming outside the window and in every corner beautiful details and art that made us even more emerged into this fairy tale. This place made me feel so calm and at ease. And while I was sitting there drinking tea with my new friend and listened to the water sound outside, it made me think a little bit about my next life choices. If I really want to stay in the city, or if I don't prefer a more simple and quiet life. The hustle and bustle of Tokyo can be really inspiring, but it makes me sometimes forget to look out for the little, delicate things. Everyone running after something makes me feel like I have to run too. I know I'm young and I enjoy living in the city, but the moment I'm surrounded by nature, with no sounds other than the wind blowing through the leaves and the little birds singing their songs, I feel like I don't need anything else in this life. I know these are really privileged thoughts, but I just wanted to share them with you and hear your opinion on the need of a quiet life among the youth. It was time for a little hike and Kara was determined to find a rumored old oak tree. I can tell you guys how good it felt to walk through these luscious green mountains. Surrounded by moose, bamboos, trees and also huge but beautiful spiders that we would have to deal with later again. Such a beautiful place here. We're still trying to find the tree. We had a little bit of a hard time finding that tree. But either way we enjoyed the way as much as the goal. We've been through some things. Every time I'm in nature, I'm just mesmerized by its wonders. Find the tree. Have you given up? A little bit. No. <laughs> I think if we walk down this path. Oh yeah, maybe. And then would like then we should probably find a sign. We did find the tree after all. Yay! We haven't found the tree yet though. Okay, but we are on a good start. There's a big, big spider web here. What we didn't know is that we would be haunted by spiders on our way. <laughs> Perfect. We followed a little path through a bamboo forest, which was just magical. But the only obstacle for us were the huge spiders that webbed their home right on the height of our faces. You can see this, but this is a huge spider web and I almost just continued walking into it. The nature girl. <laughs> There's so many spiders here. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna close my eyes. Like, like, I could. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry for destroying your house, but... <gasps> what happened? What happened? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I love this. I love. <laughs> it looks like you're doing some. <laughs> yeah, like some energy. Yeah. yeah. There is one right, like literally two, one decimeter from you, like to the left. Like do like this with the tripod and you'll get it. No, I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> but that aside, it was actually an amazing hike. It was so lonely and quiet. Oh, it's a down. It does look exactly like a leaf. While breathing the fresh air and laughing until our bellies hurt, we created such beautiful memories. Oh, I see it. It's that one. It's right there. Oh, wow. And as we slowly reached our destination, we spotted the amazing tree. We did it. As we stood in front of the tree, we said a prayer and thanks for that lovely day. I'm so incredibly thankful for these experiences and amazing people I get to meet. And also that I'm able to share these stories with you. After that, we walked down the mountain, because it was slowly getting dark. It was a lovely but quite long walk, with a lot of beautiful nature and mystical little homes along the way. Japanese countryside has just such a mysterious and magical atmosphere, that I hope you can feel a little bit through these videos. After making it down the mountain, we were actually quite exhausted from all these beautiful impressions. So we had a last tea at a super cute little cafe near the station. I hope you got inspired to go on a little adventure yourself. And maybe you discover your own fairy tale. Because magic is all around. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you really soon. Please also check out Kara's channel. She makes amazing videos and is a beautiful soul outside and within. And sorry for my voice. I've been quite sick. Bye bye. <laughs>